Advantage Figure Arts Review. This is Black Widow from Civil War. Well, Age of Ultron, but she's wearing the same thing as Civil War. Oops. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, <coughs> Bandai Premium exclusive, so it has the Bandai Premium cardboard box. Here's a quick look at the back. And here's the figure in the box itself. Black Widow on the side, very similar to the Ant-Man box. You have the Black Widow logo right there. Another picture of the uh, figure in the pose. And Bandai Premium, SH Vigart, and etc. etc. Um, currently in Hong Kong and Taobao, and probably other places, uh, there are a lot of bootleg SH Vigarts going on. The way to spot a bootleg is that, first of all, the box, the resolution, the printing on the box is going to be a little bit lower. Second of all, um, the figure is never packed in this proper position. It might the, the head might be looking to the left, the leg might be out of the slot. Uh, over quality that you can see through the window is also uh, lower than usual SH figures and of course it's a lot cheaper uh, for some of the stuff anyway. Uh, for right now currently the SH figure 4 figure is going for about 180 100 Hong Kong dollars. That's the real one because no one wants it I guess. But um, bootlegs are usually going around for 150 or something so if you're buying from online sources be careful and try not to uh, try to buy from trusted sellers. Um, I've seen bootlegs also have like extra uh, sheets of plastic in the plastic tray. Um, I don't mind bootlegs as long as they state that they're bootlegs, but lying to people, that's no go. And they really try to lie to people. Uh, I will be having an SH Figarts review on something that uh, could be a bootleg, but I actually can't tell. But uh, you have to wait for that video. So yeah, Black Widow on the side there. Um, open up the box, you've got another pose of the figure close up. And there's a nice shine to this box as well. Uh, unlike the Ant-Man box, it's a bit more of a matte color. A few more poses on the on the back. Molding, movable, option parts. In Japanese. If you do want to take a closer look at the box side, please feel free to head over to the Flickr or Facebook link in the video description below. And inside there is a single instruction sheet that uh, does contain some English on it. So you can pause the video or check out Flickr or Facebook if you want for more details on that. Inside we have the figure of closed fist. You got the two electro staff stick thingies, two pistols, and uh, she's got fists to see. She has um, relaxed hands, very open hands, really open hands, or when she's uh, you know doing her Black Widow uh, superhero landing and hurting her knees. And of course, she's got the item holding hands. So let's uh, see. Uh, this one's got one of those plastic trays, similar to old S figure, where the top lid piece goes all the way down. So. See if I can open this without uh, anything popping all over the place. Oh, and it's possible to do that. Uh, I'll have the tray open without things flying all over. So uh, the figure itself has quite a few pieces of plastic just sort of protecting it from the tray. I've uh, got the tray is supposed to protect it from other things, but oh well. And uh, oh, she's got a huge piece of plastic inside. Uh, under inside her torso, so just rip that off. Come on, get them off. There we go. There you go. There's Black Widow. Um, come on, stand. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's take a close look at her accessories. Now, I'm not really sure what I'm uh, expecting or was expecting from these, but um, these are single pieces of plastic molded in black, I assume and with the shiny blue paint on them, but I don't know, they look kind of cheap. I, I guess the molding's accurate enough, but the paint job just makes it look a bit odd. Uh, reminds me of accessories you might get from uh, American figures, like the, the cheaper ones. Uh, so they don't really feel that SH figure artsy. Hmm. Uh, they're solid enough, I guess, but uh, I'm not really sure how to feel about them. Uh, both pistols are a single piece of plastic. Yeah. Both of them are identical, there's no paint on them whatsoever, uh, no little trigger on them either. So they just look like a tiny little pistol. Hmm. On to the articulation, we've got the double neck joints, looks up, looks down, looks sideways, sideways, and full rotation. Um, but uh, yeah, her neck doesn't really move that much. It's weird, strangely restrictive for uh, kind of a uh, you know, like clothing she's wearing and stuff. It's kind of annoying. And, um, no, she's got this weird shoulder thing that pops out so she can have slightly extra arm articulation. She can't really move her arms that 
much forward though, which uh, is going to be a little bit of pain, especially when you have a torso shape with a little angle, a little triangle just popping out there, that really hinders articulation. Uh, full rotation there, uh, no rotation here because the height, they don't want to put a joint there, so she can't rotate her arms fully. Can I rotate her hands? Not really, no. Her lower arm can't really rotate too much either, so you're really restricted with this figure. Double elbow joint. Her hand is on a little ball peg that swivels and goes up and down. Uh, double joints there, so torso goes up, torso goes down. If she's got a lot of movement there, she needs it for her little landing pose. She really needs that pose. Leg is the oh the older style of as figure out legs where there's a joint, a little hinge that comes down just a little bit. Leg goes up, leg goes down, but only a little bit. And a uh, slight rotation here. This is a surprisingly restrictive figure um, for what it looks like. So leg goes up, double knee joint. Uh, she's got these weird heel things going on. Uh, leg goes up, back, and rotates. And because you do the hinge, it's on a double swivel. And uh, toes do go up 90 degrees, but uh, strangely not important. Can she stand on one foot? Uh, maybe if I spent more time doing this. I'm wasting too much time on that. I'll uh, just take a look at the back, a bit of details on the back. She has it on her belt, she's got these things out, they pop off, that's good. Non little ball pegs, these are uh, tools, radios, equipment, gear, not really sure what they are. Sure, Marvel fans can tell me what they are. Uh, this pack on the leg, this doesn't come off, this is solid. It's stuck on, but uh, all these other stuff can come off. And uh, I want you guys to focus on this face. Um, that looks pretty much like Scarlett Johansson to me. It's a lot better than the demo photo, like the product demo. My only gripe with this is that the, uh, because the, the hair is a different plastic, and there's a odd cut, like she's wearing a really poorly done wig, just around her head. And um, all the hair from a lot of these characters, seem to, they've seemed to put a bit of shine to it. I can't stand Luke Skywalker's hair, it's just too shiny. Um, but here, there's the black line on it that cuts half the shine, and it's darker color, so it's a bit better. But uh, Luke's golden hair, that's too shiny. It's glittery, I don't like that. The Black Widow figure is pretty good in terms of detail. It's one of the figures in the latest line of... Uh, technology that they've used to print uh, real people's faces onto figures. It started with uh, Michael Jackson and then we had Bruce Lee, we had Mark Hammer as Luke Skywalker, Mace Windu, uh, and we had, um, uh, who was the latest one? And then we had another thing that had his face printed on, I forgot his name. Oh well, and which is the process where they mold the plastic first and then digital print the actual person's face onto the figure. When this was first showcased uh, on in previews and stuff, the face looked a bit odd. And here it actually looks a lot better, which is an odd case. Usually the previews look better than the final product because they put more effort into the preview. And then when it comes to mass production, the quality takes a bit of a hit. Uh, here's the other way around. The, the, the face definitely looks like Scarlett Johansson. So if you want a little Scarlett Johansson in your pocket, there you go. <laughs> you can get this uh, SH figure out. So it looks a lot better. Uh, it's the best one twelve scale Scarlett Johansson figure you can get out there, and might even be better than some of the one six ones. Of course, excluding Hot Toys because Hot Toys are like eerily close to real life. The rest of the figure is pretty good as well. The molding pattern on the suit is pretty well done, and the coloring on the little details are pretty nice too. And I do like the little stuff on her belts. Unfortunately, what I don't like is the huge restriction on this character, even though. Is her body shape and the clothes she she's wearing should would suggest a figure that you can that has a less restriction on articulation, but here I, I, this figure feels restricted. I can't rotate her arms too much. I can't push them forward too much. Um, I can't even do a pose where she looks like Trinity from Matrix, holding two pistols in front of her and diving back. Her arms just don't go straight forward. It's impossible unless I unplug them or something, and that's not on. Uh, that's Pretty crappy, uh, to be honest. They should have put that extra shoulder joint where, when you move the arms enough, 
a bit, bit of plastic is inside the shoulder actually comes out so you can actually rotate the arms a bit more but they haven't done that here and they certainly could have done from the amount of space that they have on the torso this isn't like a Sailor Moon or anime figure where the female character is so skinny that you can't put anything in there so uh, that, that's a, definitely a downer in terms of accessories, uh, the sticks are okay. They do look a bit cheap and un figure figures like but they're good enough and get the job done. The pistols as well, they're just a single color, but again, they get the job done. Her hands that are supposed to hold the pistol doesn't hold them too tightly, so do be careful when you're moving her around or posing her in a space where the guns might fall off and disappear under your carpet or sofa or whatever. So do be careful about that. She definitely comes with enough hands to do a lot of different things, gestures and poses, so that's great. So she definitely has enough of those. Uh, so apart from that, um, her accessory count is decent enough, but for the price that she's going for, I get it the license fee, the lightness of the actress, as well as the technology used to uh, design and print the actress's face on the figure, would make the figure cost a bit more. But the, for the price it's currently going for, and I'm, I don't know if I can recommend this or not. I'm in the middle ground here. If you're a huge fan of the Avengers and you really like the Black Widow character, then by all means, this is the best 112 scale figure out there for this character, at least in this suit design. Uh, but if you're not too big of a fan of an Avengers fan, then you might want to give this a pass. This is a good figure, but it's not a great figure, and the price definitely takes a hit on the points here. And uh, if you're not too, too bothered, you might be happy enough with just this general Marvel series that Hasbro does. Because uh, while that one's okay, it's a lot cheaper and a lot easier for you to get overseas. Because uh, you know, I'm in Asia, so it's quite easy for me to get this for a decent enough price. But it's going to cost a lot more for you, plus shipping. And of course, if you're good at painting details, I've seen people repaint those Hasbro figures. Just a little bit of extra detail, and they look great. So if you have that skill, then you can get that. Uh, but if you don't, and you really like this character, then you better save up, because this is a pretty expensive character. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for, but it's definitely on the higher end of uh, brand new SH Figure Arts toys. If you found this video useful or enjoyable, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button, or leaving a comment below on how you feel about this SH Figure Arts or any of the other previous Marvel SH Figure Arts. I'm glad that uh, SH Figure Arts do more DC stuff again, because you kind of cut off the line of injustice. I want a Flash and Arrow figure desperately for message regards and uh, um, I much prefer the TV show version or Injustice version than the uh, movie versions I don't really want those things and as always you can check out my other videos hopefully if adblock turned off I'd appreciate that so much and can also support this channel uh, with Patreon if you click on the link below I am working on more animations and there's one animation coming out in November as it's Star Starfader vs uh, Black uh, come on the black so you can check that out please uh, the trailer's already out on my main uh, digger 318 channel and as always you don't have to do any of that subscribe to just and comment below and of course take care and have a nice day bye